What's up, guys? All right. So a little bit more to talk about today on the Eagles, NFL, stuff like that, draft. Um, we got a 17-game season coming. Now, I don't mind 17 games. More football. I'm always for more football. More playoff teams, like it. More NFL games, like it. But the Eagles, man. I mean, <laughs> bro, we have trouble staying healthy through 16 games. And now we think we're going to go out and we're going to play 17 games a season. I hope Sirianni brought that uh, that strength and conditioning coach with him or uh, something. You know what I mean? Like, if we don't got some better trainers in the building, then we are not going to make it through 17 games. Um, maybe it was Doug Peterson. Maybe Doug Peterson's practices were too rough. Um, maybe he had guys eating wrong. Uh, you know, there's there's no talent. You know, there's a million reasons why uh, we had injuries as bad as we did under Doug. Um, I do think a lot of it was bad luck, bad timing, bad signings. You know, we signed some guys who had never been injured in their career. Eventually, you're going to get hurt. That's the problem with Russell Wilson that I have. You know, yeah, let's go out and get Russell Wilson, but the dude's never missed a game. The minute he becomes an eagle, nah, man, he's going to miss the whole season. You know what I mean? And then we're going to end up giving Seattle a number one, two, three, four, five overall pick because we ain't going to have no quarterback behind them. You know, that's why I'm saying. Y'all, everyone wants Russ. I love Russ. He is a game changer. But injuries on this team are real, man, and we need to think about that. Kyle Pitts run like a 4 4 4 40. I wasn't on the Kyle Pitts hype train. I watched him at Florida. He's good. He's real good. He'll smoke your best corner. But I've watched Hunter Henry, you know, like all these tight ends that come into the league and it's like, you know, this guy's a monster and he's this and he's that. And, you know, I heard the same hype about Hunter Henry, about whoever got him was getting a steal. Dude played like Five games in four years. Obviously, I'm lying. It was not that bad, but it felt like it. I felt like I heard Hunter Henry's name three times in the past four years. You know, and that that's a real thing that you have to worry about in the NFL. You know, just because we get a guy who's a generational talent, if he can't stay on the field or if he's getting hurt or if our coaching staff doesn't know how to use him properly or if he just doesn't fit into the system, you know, it's cool in theory. But, you know, you got to be able to make it work on the field. You know, that leads me into my next thought. You know, a lot of talk about Devontae Smith at 12 and um, Patrick Sertain. Uh, I still can't remember the linebacker's name. Um, either one of them. Philly 500 got one guy he turned me on to. Last name starts with an O. A Wouzie or something like that. Um, that dude's a baller. You know, so we got two linebackers up there that could be good guys, you know, that could be good for us. You know, I think a linebacker in the first round makes a lot of sense. Um, wide receiver, not so much. Maybe in the second round, you know, if we could get, um, you know, if we could get one of these younger guys in, in the second round, you know what I mean? Or maybe if the Jalen Waddle falls to the second round, you know, that would be an awesome pickup. Um couple good corners in the first round, but like I said before, I'm so sketchy about corners in the first round. I would love Asante Samuel Jr. in the second. Um, if I knew we were getting Asante Samuel Jr. in the second round, I'd be a little more okay with taking a wide receiver in the first. But in that same breath, I'd also like to just double down on defense. You know, defense was a big problem last year. Linebacker, you know, I know Alex Singleton came through, TJ Edwards a little bit, you know. I know we got a third rounder from last year. We'll see how he can develop, but man, why not add another linebacker? You know, another big, strong tackling presence on the field. You know, just one more guy who, you know, can change the tide of the game in our favor. You know, I think that's something that we really need to think about as well. Um, wide receiver is just a flash position to most people. You know, they they want to see the deep bomb. You know, they want to see people throwing it downfield. And you know, we watched that with Doug Peterson for four years. You know, I'm all for for bringing speed onto the team and everything, but run a slant, bro. Run a curl, short curl, you know, run run some stuff that we haven't run, you know. It, it doesn't have to be deep bombs every every play, you know. And we have guys on our team, J-Jaw, uh, Fulgham, 
uh, Ward, you know, these guys can run short routes. You know, we can become a dink and dunk offense that sprinkles in those deep bombs as you go. Uh, speaking of wide receivers, one more thing I want to talk about there. Um, looks like Jalen Rager could possibly be moving into the slot this year. And all I have to say about that is when the fuck did we draft Nelson Aguilar again? When? That man is fast, and you're going to put him in the slot. Now, I understand Tyreek Hill plays out of the slot a lot. you got a lot of these fast guys playing out of the slot. I get it. But we need deep threats. Are you going to put Hightower on the outside? Are you going to put Quez Watkins outside? You know, who, who are you going to put outside if you move Rager inside? Now, that's assuming we don't draft Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddell, you know, another burner or something like that, which would be nice, but I don't expect it. I do expect us to go heavy on defense in this draft, and I don't think a lot of people are ready for it. We need a pass rusher. We could use another D tackle. We need a linebacker like there's no tomorrow. We need a second corner more than just about anything on this team because if I have to watch Avante Maddox start on the outside again, I'm going to throw up. I, I'm just not prepared to watch another year of that. You know, what's the point of having Darius Slay if your second corner can't do anything? I don't expect him to be locked down. I don't expect him to be Darius Slay. But what's the point of having Slay if your second man can't hold down the fort? You know? And those are just a couple thoughts for today. I'll probably be coming back with y'all another video tomorrow. Um, been a little busy, you know, trying to just draw a couple five, six minute videos here and there. Kind of pick y'all's brains and see what y'all are thinking. Let y'all see what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Fly, Eagles, fly, go birds. Can't wait to see what this draft has in store.